Hi friends, it's Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I have two bookish mysteries to uncover. So let's get to it. All right, so first I have my bookshelf, bookshelf Thomasville shelf subscription to dig into. <clears throat> All right, so again, Bookshelf Thomasville is a bookshop in Georgia that has a mystery shelf subscription, and I get the middle grade because I teach middle graders, and I like to put the book into my classroom. The um, book that you receive is a nice new hardcover, and it's always fun. <laughs> To, dis to discover what they have sent. Um, the last couple I have already had access to in some way. Uh, I think the last three I've already read as e-galleys. So I'm really interested to see if that is the case for this month. So get the postcard. All right. <clears throat> hey, Amy. Rhyme and Reason is a bookshop that will find you when you need it, no matter the place, no matter the time. I need this book shop <laughs> in my life. The magic that holds it together and keeps it running is fickle, though, and when Poppy's brother tries to use the magic for his own gain, it goes awry. I think, and I know this is controversial, but this is the book world I choose to live in if I could. A time-traveling bookstore? How could you say no? Okay, that does sound pretty good. I hope you love this book as much as Poppy loves Rhyme and Reason. Enjoy, Olivia. If you like book wanderers, you'll love this month's pick. Now, book wanderers has been... On my list, on my TBR to read for a while, um, and the the whole bookshop, the whole jumping into book story, oh, just fascinates me. But I haven't gotten to it yet. But I do want to at some point. So let's see what this is. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. The Bookshop of Dust and Dreams by Mindy Thomas. Oh my gosh. This is blurbed by the author of, by Lorelai Saverin, who's the author of Circus of Stolen Dreams, which is literally, I think, my favorite book of 2021. I... <clears throat> That's a bold statement, but I really think it is. Um, okay, so of course we get our bookmark. I don't know. Let's see. 1944, Sutton, New York, and Poppy's family owns and runs Rhyme and Reason, a magical bookshop that caters to people from all different places and time periods. Though her world is ravaged by World War II, customers hail from the past and the future, infusing the shop with a delightful mix of ideas and experiences. Poppy dreams of someday becoming shopkeeper like her father, though her older brother, Al, is technically next in line for the job. She knows all the rules handed down from one generation of shopkeeper to the next, especially their most important one. They must never use the magic for themselves. But then Al's best friend is killed in the war, and her brother wants to use the magic of the shop to save him. When her father is with her father in the hospital suffering from a mysterious illness, the only one standing between Al and the bookstore is Poppy. Caught between her love for her brother and loyalty to her family, she knows her brother's actions could have devastating consequences that reach far beyond the bookshop as an insidious, growing darkness looms. The decision is bigger than Poppy ever dreamed, and the fate of the bookstore hangs in the balance. Oh my gosh, this oh, I can't even with how good this sounds. Ah. Uh, oh my gosh. Yep. I this this is so 
I don't, I was just thinking that I should save this for middle grade March, but I don't even think I can do that. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. Look at this cover. It's just gorgeous. What does all the magic in the world matter if it can't save the ones you love? Oh my gosh. Okay. I also have my books and treasure. That's going to be upside down. Here we go. My books and treasure box for November. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. This is Caramel Buttercream Bath Truffles by Stafford Split. I mean, it, they look like truffles. That is for sure. Oh my. <laughs> that smells really good. <laughs> wow. What else? Oh, I have uh, pumpkin spice. These are not pumpkin spice. What is this? Vanilla cream. Colombian Supremo. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this? Suds Bakery Soaps, handcrafted artisan soaps. Look at this. It's a pumpkin pie soap. That's adorable. That's adorable. Look at it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, this nice bag. All right, what is this? It's like a candle. It is a candle. Autumn magic. What does autumn magic smell like? I don't know what it smells like, but it smells good. It's got, it's pine. It almost smells like pine and, I don't know, pumpkin. I don't, it does sound kind of, or does sound. It does smell kind of harvesty. I don't know. There's the book. Oh, look at this. The bookmark has that leaf pendant on it. And I really like the color of these leaves, too. I love this book. Um, from the Mixed Up Files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankenwheeler. Uh, this is about, oh, by E.L. Konigsberg. Uh, this is a Newberry Medal winner. This one gets mixed reviews. I have had students that absolutely love it, and I've had students that think that it's really boring, but I really enjoyed it. The um, two main characters, Claudia and, oh, I'm going to say her brother's name is Jamie. Ha, ah, this. Okay, <laughs> so Claudia is the main person, and she runs away with her little brother, Jamie, and they run to the Met. And they, they like live in the Met when, after they run away. So it's so cute. It's adorable. And I do love this book, but I also have several copies of it. So I don't know what I'll do with that. We'll see. But this is a very good book if you are looking for something really fun to read. Um, just the idea of um, hiding out in the New York public, you know, a museum, a huge museum in New York. And they find this like mysterious, this mystery that they want to solve. It's just, it's fun. 
It's really fun. And it has inspired um, a lot of other books as well, which if nothing else. Thank you for that. <laughs> all right. And then, oh, all the lives we ever lived and all the lives to be are full of trees and changing leaves. Virginia Woolf. That's really pretty. I should probably, I should get a picture frame or something. I can put it on my shelf. That's fun. All right, here's the mug. Ooh, look at this color. You can't see it yet. You can't see it yet. Ooh. That is, <clears throat> that's a pretty color. I don't know. You can see how pretty it is. It's got like this brown around the top. And then this is teal. Looking at my camera right now, it looks really, it looks more blue, but it's, it's teal. It's more green. Look to you. Oh, that's really pretty. It's a nice size too. All right. Very cute. All right. Let's see where these are from. Okay. The soap. Uh, that would be the pumpkin pie. I feel like I should just put that right there. On my, on my shelf. <laughs> All right. That is from sudsbakerysoaps.com. The bath truffle, truffles is from staffordsplit.etsy.com. Um, the print is from Lexi's Treasures 20.etsy.com, and then the candle is from, from Forever Shine Etsy.etsy.com. So that's really cool. All right. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed this bookish unboxing. I am so excited to read The Bookshop of Dust and Dreams. It has a very, very, um, it's got the formula for <laughs> middle grade YA titles down there. But, oh man, <clears throat> this looks so good. I can't wait to fill my mug with some hot beverage and curl up with a good book. <laughs> Let me know what you think down in the comments. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.